continuing to learn about protein synthesis and I thought I would show you how to solve one of the protein synthesis problems. So the general idea of the problems is figuring out the appropriate uh, sequence. It might be a DNA, mRNA, tRNA, or amino acid sequences. So let's solve a problem together. Uh, so we're given a DNA sequence um, of the non-coding strand. And the question is asking us for the DNA coding strand, the mRNA sequences and codons, the amino acids in the protein, and the tRNA anticodons. So how do we approach this problem? Well, we have to remember some information about what's happening inside of the cell. So recall that DNA is made out of uh, two strands, a coding and a non-coding strand, and that they are both uh, complementary to each other or they base pair with each other. So if you're given the coding strand, the opposite would be the non-coding and vice versa. So in this situation, we're given the non-coding strand. So we have to say what the uh, coding strand is, and it's just the opposite. So we see here the opposite of A is T, the opposite of T is A, opposite of G is C, and on and on and on. So uh, here's the answer for the uh, DNA coding strand sequence. And now it's asking us for the mRNA sequence. Now recall in a cell that there's a protein that reads the coding strand of DNA and creates an mRNA sequence that's opposite to the coding strand. Now remember there are no T's in mRNA, so wherever you would want to write a T, you would write a U instead. So if we look at the, the sequence, of the um, DNA coding strand, um, we see that it is TAC. So what's the opposite of TAC? Well, the opposite of T is A. The opposite of A is T, but since there are no T's in mRNA, then we put a U. The opposite of C is a G, and the opposite of a T is A, so we, have, we end up with this mRNA sequence. Now the next question uh, is related is asking us what are the codons? Well recall that codons are the triplet bases of the mRNA. So in a way it's sort of a trick question because we just figured out the mRNA sequence. So what do we do? We just write the mRNA sequence again but just make sure we separate them into triplets. Uh, so AUG would be our first codon, AAG would be our second, and then UUU would be our third codon, and on and on and on. So now we can use the codons to figure out the amino acid sequence. So codons are an mRNA. Uh, some people confuse it with, they use the anticodons and tRNA and get the completely wrong amino acid sequence. So if we look at the first uh, codon, AUG, uh, that's methionine or the start of the second codon is AAG so that's going to be lysine uh, and we go on to the others uh, so make sure you're using the chart for the mRNA sequence and then the last question is referring to the tRNA se uh, anticodon sequences so recall that the tRNA is what's responsible for bringing the amino acid to the ribosomes and which tRNA is going to bring an amino acid? It's going to be the TRN, tRNA that's complementary to the mRNA sequence. That's why it's called anticodon because it's the opposite of the codons on the mRNA. So we look at the first codon for the mRNA, AUG, where the opposite of A is U, opposite of U is A, opposite of G is a C. So our first tRNA codon is going to be UAC, and the second is uh, the opposite of AAG is UUC, and on and on and on. So hopefully you feel uh, some level of confidence with solving the protein synthesis problems. Um, I should also point out to you that I might ask you to go in the opposite direction. So what if I gave you the mRNA sequence? Well, you should be able to go backwards to the DNA coding strand or the DNA non-coding strand or to the amino acids or the tRNA sequences. So you should you know, practice going in, in the opposite directions. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.